What up, YouTube? It's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another fucking video. Now, I know I haven't been posting a lot lately, you know, uploading videos lately. It's just, I just haven't had the feel for it, you know? I mean, there's nothing really going on, you know? I don't take stock into OTAs like other guys do and other fan bases do, thinking that their guys are going to be dime pieces, thinking that their guys are going to be MVP type caliber guys because of OTAs, because they're lower their lower uh, body looks strong, you know, because that's what it looks like. So they're all, all of a sudden they're going to be um, MVP candidates because of what their lower body looks like because they don't got the brace on their knee anymore. But and it's funny because there's a difference, and especially if you know football, like if you know football and you talk about how much, you know, football X's and O's and that you're taking stock into OTAs is just a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke, man. So. I finally saw a couple videos um, from, I, I don't want to say his name, but I'm going to have to just so, so y'all know. Um, actually, I don't got to. If you've seen it, you should already know. He called himself Thanos. Um, and that the certain cowboys, us of Avengers, were going after him. And, and, and he wants to sit there and say that I am copying his format? How? How? Are you talking about the, um the um chris long video that i put out where before i put mine out like four other cowboy fans put their shit out too but i'm the one copying you because we had a few of the same talking points because i ended up watching your video after i made mine okay i ended up watching yours after i made mine and we had some similar a lot of similar talking points a lot and no, I'm not copying your shit. But at the same time, I didn't know that when one person says something about it, no one else is allowed. And then, you know, and if they do, they're copying. I, I had no fucking idea. None whatsoever. I didn't know that that was, wasn't allowed. I didn't know that one person can talk about it. And then if someone else talks about the same shit, then they're copying. Like, what the fuck? I, I, I didn't know you laid claims to that. I, I had no idea. And if you do, my bad. I'll make sure to never say anything you say again. But you know what's funny? What's funny is that you want to sit there and spew bullshit. Spew bullshit about how Michael Anthony Fitness has, is the only one with bravery. That me, Simus, and I don't know who else you said, doesn't have the bravery to come at you. That, that he has the only one with the brain. And it's funny because I've come at you. I've talked to you. I've said, hey, let's let's make a video together. Let's, let's talk some stuff about whose team is better. We can never get it done. We can never get it done. And right now that summer's out, hey, you know what? You know what? We can do it Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday. Mid around noon, whenever, whenever. Just Wednesdays I'm busy. Those are the only days that I can't. But Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm good. Before 2 o'clock. Before 2 o'clock. That's all I have. <laughs> so it just it cracks me up that there are some people out there who make videos that when someone else makes a certain type, almost the same video. Not even, It wasn't even almost the same video. It, I mean, it was about the same thing. But it wasn't even the same shit. That they think that, that someone's copying them. It just cracks me the fuck up. And you know what? At least I had the respect and the, you know, common courtesy of not taking your other videos where you called your own team trash. You called your own team fucking trash when we beat y'all the first time. Actually, no, it was the second time we beat y'all. When we swept y'all, you called your own team fucking trash. Talking about praising this, you know, praising their team. And when and last year when I was watching you, because I did not skip a video last year when you were putting shit out because I thought it was funny. I was listening to your shit. And I remember the week before or the week that we played y'all, you were you were crying about something. You were crying. I remember I was getting my 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 clothes dry clean because my cousin was going to a wedding that that uh, I mean my cousin was having her wedding that weekend. Um, and you were bullshitting and crying about Dallas. It's unfair that Dallas has this and that and that. And y'all, you know, are back-to-back -back game or whatever the case was. But it's just funny that when th you start losing, you start making excuses for your team. 
and I know if you go on a losing streak, you're going to be talking about how it's unfair that you have three road games in a row. It's going to you're going to start talking, you're going to it's you're going to start talking about how it's unfair. And you have three road games in a row and that Dallas is going to be playing on Thursdays back to back and they get a full week's rest while when you get a Thursday game you got to turn around and play the following or you have a Sunday game and you got to turn around and play on a Thursday like that's you make excuses for your fucking team when they're not doing good when they're not doing what they're supposed to and you want to sit there and praise and praise your fucking quarterback because he looks like he looks refreshed because he looks healthy because he looks strong because he's standing in a clean pocket with no pressure and shorts and a fucking t-shirt and a goddamn helmet throwing dime passes to Deshaun Jackson it's fucking OTAs man it's fucking OTAs how are you taking stock into someone who has no pressure down their back Games, it's not even moving at game speed. Why do you think they call it game, being game ready? It's not practice ready, because it's fucking practice. It's fucking practice, man, not, not, not a game. It's practice. And you want to sit there and praise your quarterback and say he looks like an MVP type quarterback because he's in shorts and a fucking t-shirt and no knee brace? Hell, in practice, I look like a fucking stud with a bum shoulder. But come game time when I'm pitching, I'm hurting. Hence why I don't play no more. And I know it's different for him. Look, I had surgery on my shoulder and my elbow. My elbow, I came back from. My shoulder, I came back, I retore it. Okay? And no, I didn't have some rinky-dink San Antonio um, um, surgeon. No. The, the medical staff that goes that, that works for the San Antonio Spurs that does their surgery. Hell, Dr. Curtis, my doctor who did my shoulder work and my elbow work, he has a picture in one of his in one of his rooms of a Philadelphia Eagle. I, I cannot remember who it is for the life of me, but he has a picture because he is one of the highest guys in the fucking nation for the for surgeries. For uh, um, athletic surgeries. <laughs> it's just funny that you take so much fucking stock in this, a guy throwing that. I can throw badass passes in shorts and a fucking t-shirt. If, if you really think that your guys look that special in shorts and fucking t-shirts, I feel bad for your team this year. Because you know what? Us cowboy fans, us cowboy reporters, us, I'm going to use one of your words, us cowboy content creators, us video makers, we could be high and mighty on our guys too, if we wanted, on fucking OTAs, but it's fucking practice, man, it's fucking practice, and if I want to look, if I watch one of your videos, and I'm like, hey, this guy makes a good point, let me go talk about it in my video, because some of his people, some of my people don't go watch his shit. And you want to know what's funny is that after I made your, after I made my video and ended up seeing your video, I had watched about three or four other cowboy video makers who had the same fucking talking points as I did. But you want to sit there and say that I want to copy your formula? Get the fuck out of here! I ain't copy no one's formula. I'm doing my own shit. Okay, I'm doing my own shit, and it just fucking cracks me up that you're gonna sit there and say me and Simus don't have the brave quote unquote bravery to come after you. I've come after you. Come after went after you last year. You didn't want to you, you didn't you didn't say nothing last year when I know you were watching my videos last season. And I know you have made videos with me in them. I mean not me in them personally or my videos, but you've had talking points about me. I know you have. So I've seen them and I heard them. There's a respect between us. And it's going to be on Sunday, October 20th, when you and I are there. It's going to be fun. We're going to go out, talk some football, have some drinks. Natural Freak going to be there. Simon is going to be there. Hell, I even think fifth quarter Cowboy is going to be there. Cowboy Face is going to be there. 
like I said, Natural Freak and a few other guys that he's bringing along. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're going to get together and we're all going to chop it up and talk some football. But game day is on, like Donkey Kong, brother. It's on. I cannot wait. But don't sit there and say I'm copying you when I'm not. I ain't copying nobody. Nobody. But that's all I got to say about that shit. And you know what? I, I'm glad I did this video because, you know what? I've been bored. I've been wanting to make a video, but there ain't nothing to talk about because it's fucking OTAs. It's not mini camp. It's not preseason. It's not training camp. No. It's fucking shorts and a t-shirt. It's the fucking... It's, 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 it's not even the pre-drinking to the drinking because the pre-drinking is mini camp, training camp, preseason. That's the pre-drinking. OTAs is more like the... Hey, let, let, let me let me get a road beer to go. That's what OTAs is. OTAs is the road beer to the pre-drinking party. That's what OTAs is. It's like let me get my feet wet and then let me let me pre-party before we get to the party. You know, that's what fucking OTAs is. It ain't shit that you take stock in. It's like let me get a fucking road beer to go and I'm out. Let's go. There ain't no stock taking in OTAs. That's all I gotta say about that shit. I'm out. Peace.